Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to edit the Trap Nation template. First, we're going to replace the background, logo, and music. So in the Replace These folder, right click on Background, then go to Replace Footage File. Find your background and press Import. Now you may notice the scaling is off, so we're going to go to the Background Composition, click on the layer, then press S on your keyboard. Here you can drag left or right to adjust the scaling. That seems fine. You can also adjust the mirror effect in this composition. So let's go to Effect, then Effect Controls. And Mirror 1 is selected by default, but if you want, you can unselect it and select Mirror 2. I'm going to leave mine on Mirror 1 for now. Now let's move on to the logo. Go to Project and also go to your main composition. Right click on Logo, go to Replace Footage and File. Find your logo and press import. Now the scaling's off again, so now it will go to the logo composition, click on the layer and press S. Once again, you can adjust the scaling. Mine needs to be at 17.2. Make sure when you hide the layer that it's inside the spectrum. If it's not, you can also use P to adjust the position. But mine's already in the center. Now let's move on to the music. Right click on music, go to replace footage, file, find music, press import. Let's go into the music composition now and let's zoom all the way out. Let's drag this thing to the end as well. Now we're going to trim the composition to the length of the music. So how do we do that? Well, we drag the time indicator to the end of the song. Doesn't need to be exact. And we're going to drag this thing to the end of the song as well. Now let's zoom in. And let's make some fine adjustments to make sure it's at the very end. And you may want to make further adjustments at the very highest magnification. Now let's right click and then press trim come to work area. Let's zoom all the way out. And now your composition has been trimmed to the length of the song. Now the next step is optional and it depends on whether you want the intro or not. So if you do, follow me. Let's go to the intro composition, go to the end of this red section, and then double click on the layer. You can type in your text. Now go to the composition of your liking. I'm going to use the one with the intro. And we're going to trim down the composition. Now it's a similar thing as before. Let's drag the time indicator to the end of the music section. And let's drag this thing back. Zoom in. Right click, trim come to work area, zoom out. And now you've trimmed your main composition to the length of the song. We're on to our last steps. Click on the sound keys layer, then go to effect controls and make sure the audio layer is music. In the command section, press apply. Now all we need to do is render. So let's go to file, export, and then add to render queue. Now in the output module, click on that. And I would recommend you change it to QuickTime. If you don't see this option, download QuickTime from the official Apple website. Press OK. And here you can also set your output. Press Save. And now you can press Render. Now the render times vary based on your system specs and how long the song is. But I'll have some estimations up on screen now. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.